In this video, I'm gonna show you how I will fix up these two axes. The brother of my girlfriend wanted to throw them away, and I said, No, I'll take them then. I like axes, it's actually part of my last name. So, this one is quite okay, it's still quite stable. So, this one I will just make a nice edge, and that's it, use it around the house. This one, however, will require more attention. This part is completely loose and broken already. So I'm gonna make a nice edge on this as well. And I think the previous owner changed the handle because this one is a bit long for a small head. And I think it's the wrong way on it. I think it should be like this according to the handle part here. And I was thinking that I'll make it shorter. Something like this. Clean up the handle a bit, put some oil on it, nice edge on the blade. And then I could use it for my hiking traps. So in this video I'm going to show you the steps that I'm doing to do that. Start with the sharpening. I already started on one side. It's going pretty good. It actually feels already a little bit sharp. And now, the other side. Stone is wet. So I'm finished with the rough edge. It's a 49C 150 times 320 stone, in case you're interested. And it's quite sharp now. But now I will continue with the finer grid. So it will be razor sharp. to make shorter. I already cut the handle on size. So it will be like this. Uh, before I attach it, first I'm going to sharpen this one. It's very dull as you can see. So first I'm sharpening. edge on it but still I want to continue with the finer grind to make it a perfect edge shut up enough I'm gonna sand down this handle with first with the rough paper, less rough and not rough at all. And after that I'm gonna apply some oil.
legs have all completely cleaned and smoothened up. It's really smooth, like like baby skin. And now I'm gonna fit the X head on top of that. And Benzene with more like terpentine. To remove any dust or whatever was left over. Benzene alcohol based stuff, dry it really quick. And now I'm gonna use some oil. Here's the handle after six, seven layers of oil. It starts to look nice. I decided to do the same with the other hacks. I took off the top. It's in uh, vinegar now. And I will also make this a bit shorter, the handle, because it's a bit cracked here. Like this much shorter still a lot of handle left so first I'll start to roughen it up then sand it all down make it nice and clean and continue from there so this is after a few days in uh, apple cider the mark has become really nice and clear I still have to do some research on what it means the second one, there's one difference, it has 69 instead of 68. And I noticed the other one is a bit shorter in this length, but just half a centimeter. The rest is quite equal. This one is 516 grams, and that one is 489 grams, so 26 or 27 grams difference. This one, the paint is almost off. But I'll keep that a bit longer since this one started earlier. I have been sanding it also down with this thing on the other side, and then it looks like this.
it looks nice. For some reason I prefer this look. But since I already started, I'll continue also on this side now. I've also filed the edge down, which I will do also here and here. And then I will sharpen it once more after that. with already one coat of oil. It's a bit darker, I couldn't get that out. So we're gonna oil this also for a few days. Here are the two X heads. I had them again for one day in the vinegar while I worked on something else. Now, with the first handle, I'll make a cut here for the wedge, and then I'm gonna fit on number 69. There's 68. Perfect fit. Perfect. And here we are. Compared to how they first look like and how they now look like, I'd say a big change. This one actually has become my favorite over this one. I didn't clean the wood enough, I think, because it's quite dark here. It's also a different kind of wood. It became much darker after that I oiled it. And this one stayed actually quite light. I'm going to leave this part here. And now... I'm still very curious what these marks mean. I already started wrapping the handle. Before I did that I added some inner tube of a bicycle again for small protection. Taped off the edge, I don't want to cut myself. And I'm wrapping the handle with 550 paracord, twisting it the 360 way. I don't know what the real name is. I tried two other ways, but one I didn't like and one was too complicated. So this one actually feels quite well. It's not too difficult to make, or not too time consuming. You just go all the time in the same direction. And then 
sinds het realiteit. And this I will continue doing till I reach here and then I'll show you the end result. And here we are, all finished. This was the one that I started with. Nice dark brown. Handle all red, lanyard. It's more comfortable in the hand than I expected. The logo, I'm still working on that to find out what it means. Second one that I thought I won't do anything with, just sharpen. I did also completely as you saw in the video. It's nicer, lighter wood. Also very comfortable in the hand. Again, lanyard. And razor sharp. So, that's it. I'm gonna leave them as it is. I'm gonna take one of these with me on the hiking trip upcoming weekend. Let's see how they perform, or one of them at least. And I hope you enjoyed it. I did, I learned a lot. And I already started with a few other axes. So, till next time. Bye.